And for 10 years of that, I'd double up on a weekend and I'd finish, I'd start work at five in the morning. I'd finish at three in the afternoon. I'd get home just before family. Like it was just me and my, my fiance as she was then, we're now married. And I'd get home, I'd have some tea, get a shower. Sometimes I'd even grab 30 minutes nap on the bed and then back out. And then I'd start 5 p.m. shift with the police. Volunteer police officer, everybody thinks you're a plastic bobby. I think you might be a PCSO who don't really have any real powers. There's nothing against PCSOs or a fantastic um, team of people, but it's not the same as being a volunteer police officer. As a volunteer police officer, I was trained to do everything pretty much that a regular Bobby was trained to do. The only thing I got away with was generally not doing as much of the paperwork because I wasn't qualified enough or I just didn't have the experience to finish the paperwork. I was one of the few that tried, tried to do that, tried to get it done. Um, and I enjoyed it. I didn't want to be the person who kind of handed off to somebody else and let them deal with all of my shit. I wanted to be the person that, that they could come to and go, right, I want to take this off Paul because I know he'll have done a good job with it. And I'd be there till three, four, five o'clock in the morning sometimes. And then it's the weekend and I'd want to be up. I'd want to be not wasting my day in bed. I'd want to be up nine, 10 o'clock in the morning going out and doing something with my fiance or with my family or my friend. So you learn, you learn to be efficient. You learn to be efficient in everything. And I think that's the key of where I'm at with things. And you, if you want to take some inspiration from that, it's got to be, you've got to be like letting that mentality seep into every part of your person. If you want to be really efficient at things and that's hard, 